it's a rainy day here in Florida, so <laughs> until the thunder or lightning goes away, I won't be riding my bike today anyway. But um, I was looking at the instructions, and as you can see, it kind of it's not really clear, but these number nine, which are considered uh, well component original, I guess they're little rubber rubber things that that the bolt actually screws into. It looks like the brace here sits on top of the backmost rubber things and the front one goes to the windshield where it's the spacers uh, here fill in the hole in the other windshield for the back tube. So I think when you go to the bike, I think you're supposed to remove this one and place it to the windshield or leave it in place and figure out how to get the windshield around it. And these two stay in place so the space where the original seal shield uh, sat is actually going to be behind the brace for the new shield. Uh, I hope that's right. We're going to find out. Now the first step is to place component number eight inside these holes on the windshield. You see the orientation. The windshield is here. I'm laying it down flat. So the top is this way, the bottom is this way, and there are two holes that these rubber spacers have to fit through. So we're going to try that. Now it may be easy to use some kind of lubricant to squeeze these through, uh, but then I have to clean the shield. <laughs> so we're going to try to do it the hard way first and see what happens. But if you can't get it, you may try some WD-40 or bow shield or something like that. But I do things the hard way first until I can't do it, and then I try the easy way. And it looks like it's coming through there. Let's see, almost got it. Almost about through. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Now we'll do the other side. The other side went in a whole lot smoother. Uh, still didn't use any lubricant, but what I did was I squeezed it and stuck it down at an angle, and then from the bottom side worked it into the hole around. And that, the first one uh, was difficult. The second time worked really easy. Uh, so now we're going to move on to step two, which I believe is to take the brace, one for each side, and attach it following the instructions and in see. So I'm going to gather all my parts together, and we're going to see if we can get this put together. For this next step, you need to gather a couple of tools. Right here we have a 4 millimeter uh, Allen wrench, and I have, let's see, this is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Now, if you only had a crescent wrench or a Phillips head screwdriver, I suppose you may be able to work it out, but uh, the bolt supplied with the shield our Allen wrench bolts. So that's the best way to do it. Make sure you don't strip anything out. And, and uh, anyway, you just start assembling. Okay, first make sure you have the right bracket. When it attaches to the motorcycle, it's going to come up and around. If you set it underneath the screen, place it against the rubber piece here, it should lay right against the, you, all the holes should line up. If I had the other one, Obviously, it's not going to, I mean, there's nowhere for it to go. So, this is incorrect. This one's correct. First step is to take this plastic plug. It is part number uh, seven, according to the instructions. And it fits snugly inside the, uh, the rubber piece that we installed earlier. Then you're going to take your bolt, slide it into the center of that, and take the bracket slide that up. This is going to be kind of tough with only one hand. Actually, I'm going to get a spring clamp to make my life a little easier. So you got a spring clamp, use that. That way this can just set in place. You can just temporarily clamp that. Eh, hands off. Then you take your nut and your washer, lay it on the other side of the bolt, and tighten it up. And I shortened up my socket wrench. The other one was a little bit too big for this application. Still 10, millim 10, 10 millimeter, but uh, 
this fits in a little bit better. And I just spin it around until it tightens. Not too tight. Just hand tight. I know it's not going anywhere. And that's it. Repeat the process for the other side. Okay, I've installed both of the braces. And according to the instructions, once again, the spacers, these metal spacers that came uh, part number six, are supposed to go in the shield in these two places on each side. And that shortens the hole, I guess, or, or braces the hole for the bracket that supports the shield itself. So I'm going to go ahead and insert those. And they just simply pop right into place. And there they are. They fit right in perfectly. And that's going to be one less thing I have to hold on to in just a minute when we actually put the shield up against the bike. And where are the other ones? Here we go. And again, the first hole, the one closest to the nose, does not uh, get one of these braces. That one seemed a little loose, but I think it'll be all right. pulled out the two front rubber things that come on the original model. Uh, again, you only pull out the front two, the back two stay in place. That's what I'm reading in the instructions. Uh, after I get the windshield on, I guess we'll find out if that's correct. It's kind of difficult to understand in the schematics, but uh, I believe you leave the back two in and you take out the front two. These are going to go in the windshield as spacers. Since the spacers on the back aren't necessary because of the brace, uh, these stay in place. Hopefully. So what I'm going to do now is take these pieces I just removed from the bike and put them through here. Same process as the other uh, pieces that were on the top of the shield. It's rubber, it's got to fit through this. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But once it's in, if you don't use any lubrication, you don't have to clean anything. It wasn't too hard. That actually went in really well. So, I'm kind of making a mess over here. We'll try this one as well. Same process. And, and it goes.